Kinnick. I'm the CEO and founder of Juvenile Justice Impact, and today we have with us Brandon Rushell. Brandon, please uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, your organization, yeah. and how much you're helping our community, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you. Well, my name is Brandon Marshall. Um, I'm a Las Vegas native. Went to Cimarron Memorial High School, uh, graduated, and went to University of Nevada, Reno. So I'm really a Nevada kid, and um, you know, I was blessed enough and fortunate enough to, to you know, live my dream and go play in the NFL. So initially, yes. I went to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, we stayed there for about a year and a half. You know, it was okay. It just, you know, it didn't really pan out for me. So then I went to the Denver Broncos, and um, that's what things really took off for me. Um, you know, I was a six-year uh, player for, for the Broncos. I started for five of those years. Um, I played extremely well, won a Super Bowl. Um, Congratulations. Made the, thank you. Do you have your ring? I don't. I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it. Um, <laughs> I made the all-decade team, you know, for, for the Broncos in 2010. So, you know, I, 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 I've done well for myself. Um, then eventually I went to the Raiders briefly, and, you know, my knee just wasn't holding up for me. So, uh, at the end of the day, I had to, you know, finish my career. Sure. And, you know, I've had a foundation since about 2016. You know, I truly love love kids. I love giving mm -hmm. back. I love the youth. Um, so I have a mentorship program, and really it's just about, you know, building our future leaders. And, you know, that's something that I'm really passionate about. You know, I didn't necessarily have a father figure consistently in my life, so I, I want to give these kids something to look forward to, somebody that, you know, could help them along the way, you sure. know. And so, you know, we have that, and we've been having it for years. We have about 25, 30 kids, and nice. it's going well. Wonderful. And what inspired you to, to start your organization? Um, you know, just that. You know, because initially in college, I wanted to be in, like, the Big Brothers, Big Sisters program. Oh, nice. I just didn't have time. Sure. And so what really inspired me was the fact that I didn't really have anybody showing me the way uh, through life, whether it's my personal life or professional life. Um, so, you know, I didn't have that. So I wanted to provide that for, for kids that were just like me. You know, thank God I was able to navigate, you know, um, <laughs> through my own, uh, through sure. life. And my mom was a, a huge help in that. So that was really my, my driving force. I'm like, you know, I want to give back to these, these kids that don't have any direction. And so that's something that uh, is really passionate uh, in my heart. That really is nice because, I mean, a lot of these kids, they don't, they don't have that direction. They yeah. don't have that mentorship. They don't have... A lot of, a lot of, a lot of the tools yeah. to to get them, you know, in 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 the right direction, and to teach them the core values that that you have, for example, on on your website, and yeah. you know, the perseverance, the dedication, yeah. the loyalty, and all of that, and and I just think that that's incredible. And tell us a little bit about the youth that you have, and yeah. uh, I'm sure you've seen them go through some incredible changes, and that just must be incredibly rewarding. Yeah. So initially, we started off with about five kids, and. And now we're, we've grown, like I said, to about 25 um, kids. And we just had about four graduate, which is amazing. One wow. of my kids is going to the University of Oregon nice. on a football scholarship. Um, one of my kids, she's going to Jackson State. She had a 4.2 GPA, which she's doing wow. amazing. Uh, another kid who, um, who, he's going to the military. They're like your own kids. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so they're like, you're sending them off yeah. into the world 100%. with all of these tools to be successful. Yeah. And, and what better what better mentor with someone like yourself? I'm sure they, you know, they look up to you and, and are, they're inspired by you. And, yeah. and I just think that's incredible and that's just great. And and what, what a, a legacy you're leaving, yeah. you know? And, mm -hmm. you know, coming from someone who's a professional athlete mm -hmm. you know they're always they're going to remember that for the rest of their life yeah and you're 100 percent right about that and most of my kids come to me because i was an athlete and i do like a lot of my boys want to play sports mm -hmm. and, and that's great you know i want to give them you know i want to say because like, you could do anything you put your mind to mm -hmm. it's that's just sure. you know at the end of the day someday sports will end you know whether mm -hmm. it's after high school college or nfl uh, or nba whatever they decide to do but one day we'll end, and they need to have the tools to be able to, you know, maneuver through life, become a professional person in whatever way, you know. So um, that's what I want to, you know, I try to in instill in them. You know, we talk about sports. Yes, sports are important. It mm -hmm. uh, builds a core foundation, teamwork, hard work, perseverance, you know, that those things like that. But, um, you know, when, when you're done and you're trying to navigate through life and, you know, what do I like to do? Who am I? You know, what what avenue, you know, can I go down, right? And so... That's why I put, you know, a lot of professional people in front of them, you know, so to let them know, like, there's more than one way to skin a cat, more than one way to be professional, 
Um, right. Or to, I'm sorry, to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. And whether you want to you know, have a business or you want to, you know, uh, be an accountant, whether you, anything. Whatever. Whatever, yeah. but there's a lot of ways to, to get it done. But teaching them those core values to, you know, the professionalism and just be a good person. Yeah. Just to be a good person. Yeah. You know, because there's so much... Uh, there's so many distractions, mm -hmm. especially with social media. Oh, you know, kids kids yeah. learn different lessons than than um, than when we were growing up. Yeah. With all the social media around them. Right. You know, so. Yeah. It's, it, you know what? You're right about that. It, it's a lot of distractions, and also it, you know, it. Uh, uh, you know, I feel like depression is at an all time high right now, mm -hmm. um, or maybe it's just out in the in the forefront because we see a lot of these, you know, situations where you know kids are committing suicide and different things like that. And so uh, another thing I have is I have a pilot program. And so I decided to go into, uh, you know, foster kinship and um, the LIT program. Uh, foster kinship's on the, on the north side, um, you know, LIT, lit programs on the east side. And so one of, you know, speaking about, you know, a lot of distractions and depression mm -hmm. and, you know, different things like that. One of, uh, so I teach a six week class and, nice. and it's great. So we go in and we teach six week class and then, you know, we, you know, we teach them different things each week. Maybe it's, you know, teamwork, maybe it's uh, affirmations and, you know, different things like that. So w one of them is, which I love, is a an affirmation, you know, so the positive self-talk. So, sure. you know, they they stand by these pads I put um, and you write, I can, I will, I'm learning to, uh, you know, X, Y, and Z. And then I throw them a football and they say, I can be you know, whatever oh, I nice. put my mind to. We and did that at one of our at yeah, one of our workshops, actually. Yep. <laughs> I am, you know, uh, the smartest person in the. You know, anything mm -hmm. to, to you know to, to build their confidence and yep. to have that positive self talk because you know there's a lot of negative thoughts come in and, and as as individuals as humans we have negative thoughts all the time. You can't stop them from coming in, but what you can do is reaffirm yourself, the positive Remind yourself. affirmation. Yep. I am I am good enough. You know, and a lot of these kids don't feel like they are. I, I can see that. I know we had uh, one of our, we did uh, a workshop on mental health and yeah. suicide prevention, and we had Mrs. Uh, Nevada there and just so many community leaders, and that's that's exactly what we did is we had vision boards, mm -hmm. and we had the youth and the families and just everyone who attended, yeah. you know, we had them do exactly that. I just, we weren't throwing the football, but, right, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, yeah. they, they loved it, you know, yeah. and they, they wa and we and they got to keep them, right. you know, and we did it, like, in a notebook size so they could just, you know, carry it with them and their notebook or just keep it home yeah. that way it was small enough and right. and uh it was it was it was it was a lot of fun it was like team building yeah and i will say you know one, one of the one thing that kind of sticks out of my mind when we was at the um you know we was teaching a lit program and when we when we did the affirmations class uh, the positive self-talk class we showed a video you know it was j-lo she was speaking and j-lo said that you know i have to remind myself on a daily that I'm good enough or I am strong and I am worthy. Mm -hmm. And so after the class, I mean, after the video shut off, I asked them, the kids, what did they get from that video? And um, a couple of the girls was like, yo, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy to hear that J-Lo, of all people, needed to like remind herself, remind herself that she's good enough. Right. Yeah, because at the end of the day, I mean, they're still human beings, they're right? Still and, human beings, right? And they're still getting all of that pressure, especially mm -hmm. at that level, right? Yeah. And I'm sure you experience that yourself, being a professional athlete. Yep. You know, there's expectations mm -hmm. of like perfection, almost. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And right. Um, so it I really just, dehumanizes us because mm -hmm. you know we, we we are humans and we have and we will fail and fall short at times, but you know, like you said, there's an expectation of you know perfection. It's it's unattainable, but we can strive for it. Mm -hmm. But I was just letting the kids know, like, look, you know, she's no different than you. You know, you're no different than her. Mm -hmm. We all for are sure. the same, and we all have to continue to remind ourselves that we are worthy, we are good enough, and, and we can be whatever we decide we, we want to be. That's, I love it. Well, thank yeah. you so much for all you're doing in our thank community. You. Thank um, you. And do you want to talk about an event you have coming up on June twenty yeah. fourth? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I have an event. Um, it's it's a gala for my foundation. It's June twenty fourth. Uh, it's at Chateau, um, you know, nightclub, which is in the Paris Hotel. Uh, I'm excited, you know, for everybody to come out and see what we're doing with our kids and just to have a, a, a good time. It's going to be a good event. And, you know, I'm going to have some of my kids there going to speak about, oh, nice. you know, the program, a kid from, also the kid, a kid from uh, the, the, the LIT program and, and the foster kinship program that we started our pilot programs with. So, 
you know, it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna have music, we're gonna have, you know, some of my uh, actually, you know, former former teammates. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I have uh, about five former uh, teammates, four or five former teammates from the Broncos, and some of those guys went to different teams, Browns and right. you know, the Redskins or you know, Giants. So you know, just to to add a little pizzazz, like yo, we have professional athletes in the building, which <laughs> which is never can never hurt. I am know? a football fan. Every That's time good. the Super Bowl happens, I'm like, oh, now what do we do? Yeah, you know, I always go through that <laughs> period. Nice. You're right, you know, because mm-hmm. you you live for the Sundays, you live for the you know, you live for the pre games. Your yeah. preseason starts right. in August, right? Yeah, and yeah, exactly. I'm like, all right, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. only have two minutes. It's not it's right around the corner, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm like getting too far ahead of myself. I don't want. <laughs> but um. Yeah. So I wanted to make a little, uh, I wanted to give this to you on behalf of Nevada School of Professional Studies wow. from Maria Novello, the CEO. It is a donation of a $10,000 scholarship wow. uh, for the Marshall Cares Leadership Program. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> now, this is amazing. I, and, and I can't believe it. Um, you know, it's, it, and everything goes to the kids, you mm-hmm, know, to be honest sure. with you. I love giving back. This is what I what I love to do and, and you know, we take them on trips, we take them on college tours, so this is a big help, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we're we're excited and yeah. um and we'll be meeting Maria soon. Okay. But I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. She loves youth yeah. just as much as we all do and this is definitely gonna make such a difference. And you make a difference in a you make a difference in one house. You mm-hmm. make a difference in the neighborhood. Yeah, right. One hundred percent. Like if you bring good, if you if you're if a youth is doing good, they're gonna bring good. Yeah. If you bring bad, they're gonna do bad. Mm-hmm. You know that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And um, so we're just just June seventh. <laughs> it's fresh <laughs> off the printer, fresh right? Fresh off the printer. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. And for that. so, uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank Maria. you, the Nevada thank School you. of Professional Studies. Just thank you so much. We're so grateful, and we appreciate it. And mm-hmm. um, we'll be meeting you soon, and we definitely will be letting her know how we're going to be utilizing it. And yeah, they have 100%. some wonderful programs, really. Yeah. And um, we're excited to, in partnership with Juvenile Justice Impact, give yes. this to you guys. Oh, thank you. So, thank you. Whew, um, <laughs> and then also at the at the gala, uh, we were hoping to pick out maybe a, p- a few of the youth that mm-hmm. could be using this. Yeah. And I think that that would be a great idea to, you know, present this to them as well. And yeah. um, we just, obviously this just happened yesterday. So yeah. we're going to be, um, they're, they're making one of those big checks like oh, you see check. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we love those. So yeah, so we'll, yeah. we'll all be standing there and, you right. know, holding it up. And ho- the goal is to hopefully, you know, find a few youth that we could actually get enrolled and mm-hmm. get involved and, yeah show Marie and show the world that, you know, how we're going to be utilizing this and, and what we can all be up on stage. And uh, Mark Allen Schaefer from My Vegas Magazine mm-hmm. is going to be co-emceeing. And yeah. uh, we just saw him last night <laughs> <laughs> at uh, one of the award ceremonies through My Vegas Magazine. And he's just, he's just such a good person. And I can't wait for you to meet him. And yeah, looking um, forward to it. And we're going to shoot out the flyers, and the flyer has um, a lot of the sponsors on it. Mm-hmm. Picture of Mark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it also has a Nevada School of Professional Studies logo, along with Juvenile Justice Impact. So, and I'm proud to to be a part of all of this. Yeah. And um, I thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. And and I think we talked about collaborating with a pilot program. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And so we're going to sit down and. Iron all that out after the gala. I know mm-hmm. what goes into a gala, <laughs> especially especially two weeks leading up to it. Yeah, so yeah, sure. <laughs> there's a lot of spinning plates mm-hmm. everywhere. So right. once we get all that organized, we're going to sit down with with your team and well, not your well, you know, team. Yeah, no, it's, it's still a team. It's still football a team, but it's still, it's still a team. <laughs> it's just different. You yeah, know? right. Mm-hmm. And we'll all sit down and and figure out what we're going to do and how we're going to make it happen. Yeah, uh, you know, I love results. You know, have a plan, have some, have some results, and I just, I yeah. cannot wait, I cannot wait to meet the the youth that are that are going to be involved in this, and and I can't wait for them to meet you and meet the other meet the other youth that are in your program that are going to yeah. be there, and I think it's just going to be awesome that we all come together and just you know make a difference and have an impact on our youth and our community. Yeah. So, yeah. how can we get a hold of you? Yep. Yeah. Well, go to. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you can go to WMCLeadership.com. That's the website. Once again, that's WMCLeadership.com. You can get a hold of us on the website, you know, um, contact us through there. So, you know, that's where we want to drive all traffic to the website. Wonderful. And you can reach us at one or 888-JJI-0010, mm-hmm. or you can vid- visit us on the web at www.impact.jji.com. Um, sorry, impactjgi.com. <laughs> we switch it a few times. Yeah. But um, so thank you so much. It's thank an you. honor to have you here. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for being here. Thanks and, for having me on. Uh, too. Yeah. Stay tuned. We have a very big announcement coming up as well that we'll we'll uh, we'll let everyone know about. Maybe we'll make that announcement at the gala. So yeah, that's cool. <laughs> get your tickets. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. 100%.